me, me, me. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to episode 15 of Black Ops 3 Mod Tools. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a custom texture. Now, I haven't seen these at all, so I figured I at least wing it. It's not too much information, but I at least got it to work. All right, so let's open up. Uh, let's, we're going to open up GIMP because that's the program I'm going to use to make my own texture. So I'm going to double click on that. As you can see, it's GIMP 2.8. It's a free program. You can just Google it and just download it and you're good to go. Once you already have it, it's going to look like this. Now, first thing you want to do is you want to click on file and we're going to go to new. Now, right here, it says image size. This we're going to change it to 1024 by 1024. Now, I'm just doing it the old school way. This is how it used to work on um, World at War. So let's give it a try. Let's see. Once the official way comes out, then I'll make a new video on it. But for right now, it's working. And, you know, in case anybody wants some custom images, this is the way to do it. So right now, I already have the canvas ready. It's 1024 by 1024. I downloaded an image right over here. Well, actually, this one. So I'm going to drag the image over. There we go. Now I have to rescale the image. So right over here where it says layers and brushes, I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go to scale layer. Now I'm also going to change this to 1024 by 1024. Click scale, bow. See how it filled up everything? It's perfect. All right, now I'm going to go over to file. We delete this one. I'm going to go to file. And I'm going to go to export as click on that. Now, let me make sure that it shows up on my desktop. So I'm going to click on desktop. That way it shows it right there. Now let's name this file. Now I'm going to call this, hmm, what should I call it? A uh, COD image. So it stands for Call of Duty image. Now you can name it whatever you want. That's just for this tutorial. Now I'm going to go over here to fi uh, select file by type by extensions. Uh, click on that and we have to look for TIFF. There it is, TIFF image. This is a must. Click export. All right, now it's going to say compression. Now me, I did it on LZW. Click on that and click export. There we go. Now it showed up right over here. Double click it. And as you can see, that's our image. So let me close this out. Don't need you anymore. Sorry, Gimp. You'll be back later. All right. Now copy this image. And we're going to navigate to the root folder of Black Ops 3. Now I'm going to go into Texture Assets. Double click on that. Now I'm going to make a new folder. That way I can keep all my images in there. So let's just call this Uptown's Textures. There we go. You can name it whatever you want. Me, I'm just calling it that. So I'm going to double click on it. I'm going to paste that file that we have, COD image. Okay, now that's done. Now let's open up uh, its launcher and let's open up Asset Editor. Click on that. As you can see, I was already messing around with it, but let me show you guys how to get this done. Delete that. All right. Now, first things first, let's make a new GDT. So go to new GDT, because you don't want to add anything to an existing one, you know? All right, so we're going to call this, mm, new, or let's call this custom underscore textures. Click save. Now it's also going to save it under source data. So if you ever want to find it, it's right there, source data. And it's along with all the other GDTs. Click save and bow. Okay, cool. Now that's it right over here. So we're going to right click it and we're going to go to new material. Let's try that. And now we're going to name it. So I'm going to call it COD image. Click OK. Now, now this is we're setting up the material file for it. So go over to material type. 
Now me, I like to put it under light. So let's look for light. There we go. Okay. Actually, let me. Yeah, I'll leave it on the light. All right. So now surface type, I'm going to leave it on none. I'm going to leave gross range on custom and usage. That way, whenever I click usage, it'll be under a certain category. So this is an image. So I'm going to put it on the background. All right. Now let's come over here to color map. And let's see if we can find the image. Now, this is what it's going to name the image. You know, once you click right over here, go to new image, click on that. And it's going to call it I underscore COD image underscore C. Click OK. All right, now we're going to add the image. So go over to texture right here. Go to these lines, these three dots, click on that. And let's navigate to where the image is. Now it's under texture assets. And then we're going to go to Uptown's textures. There we go. Best spot on earth. And double click it. All right. So now let's see if I hit open the TIFF file. Let's open it. Let's see what it is. There we go. That's the one. All right. And I think I should op open for editing, for edit, and preforce, or mark for add and preforce. Let me see. Let me see what happens when I go back to it. Up oh, there it is. There's our image. So looks like it's pretty much done. There it is. There's both of them. This is the material, and this is the image. So it looks like it's pretty much did it for us. So I'm going to click on file. I'm going to save all. I'm going to exit out of this. Now we're going to open up Radiant. See, mine's just going crazy for a second. There we go. All right. Now oh, I'm going to open up Radiant. And we're going to see if we could put this image in the game. All right, cool. All right, I'm in a I'm in a top view, so I'm just gonna drag out a brush. There we go. Let's make it like a little poster, or at least like a, a painting. There it is. Let me give it a cock texture, so I don't won't have to see it in that color. So I'm gonna hold Control and Shift and left click and select just the face, not the whole thing, just the face. And I'm gonna go over to textures. You know, I already got my textures tab open. If you don't have it, hit T for textures. Go to usage. Did I put it under background? I think I did. Click background. And there it is. There's our custom image, people. Who's the man? Double click on that. Bow. Look at that. All right, now let's fix this. Press S for surface inspector. Press S. And let's go to set. Bow. Hit escape. And there you have it. That's how you add custom textures. So if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Laters.